Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, yo, we got a legend in the cut. Megan Lee Stallion at another pool party. Doja Cat got something in the litter box. Six nine contacts, Gilly the Kid, and Kanye pulling a cringe move. Surprise, surprise, yeah, I know. Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be first in line when we drop this insanity. And yes, indeed, as we say all the time, it is insanity. Trust me. Hey, yo, check this out. First on deck. Imagine, right, if you was walking through an airport terminal or walking down the streets of Atlanta and you heard someone playing the flute and you passed by the flute player and you saw the following. Yo, take a look. <laughs> ah, yo, sure, yo, sure. Good sure, right? Yeah, yeah, what's going on, man? How you doing? Chilling, chilling, chilling. <laughs> yes, it's completely possible for a hip hop legend to be humbly sitting beside you doing what he loves on the humble. Yo, I love it. Yo, you would never know. Because when you walk, you're looking down at your stupid phone. Yo, be aware of. Yo, it's like I'm, I'm talking to myself. Yo, be aware of your surroundings, stupid. That's one half of the legendary outcast. But here you are looking at the basketball player body with the baby head from Lovecraft. Incredible. Yo, he, he needs to come and get us now. You know what I'm saying? Megan Thee Stallion was at a pool party. I know, I know. You're like, this can't be good. Hear me out, hear me out. Megan was at a pool party, right? And Megan has a bodyguard, yeah, that decided it was a good idea to pull a burner out at the pool. Yo, can we all just come to an agreement, the, the consensus that from now on, right, Megan the Stallion should not wear bathing suits anymore, anytime, ever. You see what I'm saying? She puts on a bathing suit and something generally tends to go left. Yo, Megan, if you're listening, right? If you're listening, sweetheart, I mean, we love you. You see what I'm saying? You're beautiful. The whole nine yards. I mean, we like to... We love you, okay? <laughs> no more bathing suits, okay? No more bathing suits. That's it. Your boy had the joint all by her head. They're laughing and having fun. Was the situation so serious that your boy felt that he needed to bring the burner into the pool? That That's what he did. He brought it into the pool. Now... Nothing went wrong, thank God, right? But, I mean, I don't want guns by Megan, period, bruh. I, I don't care if you're the bodyguard, man, okay? If you're pulling it out, use it. And if you ain't use it, using it, put it away, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could have came through in the pool with a cup in his hand. He could have came with a fork in his hand or a spoon. Imagine we were on IG Live. Beautiful women in the pool. I jump into the pool with a sword. Showing it off like it's the first time I held the joint. I mean, sometimes you just got to shake your head like these people like, I mean, like you can't be that much younger than me, man. You, you see what I'm saying? Doja Cat. She was caught on sketchy websites with what folks believed to be all right folks back in the days. OK, I don't know if this is new or not. You know what I mean? She made peculiar statements about her blackness, particularly that life would be better if she were white. At least I'm pretty sure I read that. OK. And then her blackness was called onto the stand by hip hop legend Nas. Well, she didn't quite clap back, but came damn near close. Now, Doja took to virtual stage and performed her number one hit song, Say So, which I like. I I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, right? She also won the Push Best New Artist Award, but thought that the award was a joke, a sick joke. <laughs> no, making songs at the expense of people's dignity is a sick joke but but i digress the artist stated quote i thought it was a sick prank no i was really really excited to find that out and i didn't know how to try to hold myself back from tears i usually say that i don't care about this kind of thing but i actually do i now know that i do care about getting this award a lot close quote see you, you don't really know you like you think you do you think you're gonna do said such and such and so and so. You think if you saw 6ix9ine, this is what you was gonna do, but you don't really know. You know how many times you was like, yo, I can't believe I did that. And I mean, if you think that, yeah, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. 
then you're stupid. Straight up. Because you don't know, right? I mean, like, you ain't never surprised yourself before. Anyway, psychologically, right, in her mind, her self-worth is in question. And that's a lot of us, right? I mean, do they really like me? They couldn't possibly, right? Look at how I look. I'm not that great. Oh, I'm about to go on stage. Let me act all confident in front of the people. You know how nerve-wracking it is to perform in front of a crowd? Anyway, she stated, quote, I have my album coming. Can't say when. I really want to make it a surprise. I don't want to say too much, right? Because that usually gets you in trouble, right? Don't it? She continues on and says, it's not going to be perfectly consistent. I've never been any, I, I've never been anyway, but we have some dance hall stuff on there, some Afrobeat stuff, some funk, house. I'm trying to cover all bases, close quote. Yo, honestly, right? I predict, Celeb Source predicts that her album is going to be hot. Her music is catchy. I ain't gonna front, right? I ain't one of them dudes all biases that like that gonna front on the music. Her joint is hot. If it's hot, it's hot. If I don't like your personality, that's another thing. When she puts the paintbrush down, we ain't on the same page. But she's a person. What do you want? Her music is tight, so let's assume. I predict that her album is going to have some bangers. And she bet not let a ninja down. You see what I'm saying? You know how long they look past R. Kelly because of his music? His behavior. They look past his behavior because his music was hot. 6 9 has contacted Gilly the King and offered to do a one-on-one -on -one interview with the artist, even saying, quote, I think this is a perfect one-on-one -on -one conversation. I met you in Philly. You seen my growth. This is probably the biggest thing you gonna ever touch, brother. The delusion of grandeur is off the charts. He continued on and said, yo, there's nothing you can't ask, Gilly. Put it like this. Look at the AKs, look at the Wayne notes, look at all these ninjas. They ain't doing ish. You the first ninja I sit down with. Close quote. Now, yo, take a listen. Now, Gilly is curious. So naturally, right, he plays along. You know, just to let, let him talk, right? I mean, because it comes out eventually. You, you just got to let him talk. Gilly says he was going to accept the fact that he ratted and that he told on some ninjas and that he was going to accept all that. Then he was going to say, what about such and such? He did this. What about this person? What about this person? Yo, you mess with Meek and a bunch of ish that don't got nothing to do with no telling. It's just messy ish and I don't deal with messy ish. Close quote. I feel like Gilly read that exactly right. He stated he's just going to justify himself and ain't nobody got time for that. So 6 9 from Gilly the King. It's a no from him, dog. Okay? And finally, in a move that I can't quite call blasphemous, because no one actually claimed, that I know of, to be God during the event. I mean, in the past, Kanye did blasphemous things in saying that he was a God, but then he got saved and wants to promote Christ. Okay, I could get behind that, right? Now, he hasn't repeated, that I know of, the blasphemy that he is a god, right? I mean, and, and don't get all, oh, how dare he? Like, you never use the Lord's name in vain, man, okay? Sit down. Your boy pulled a Sunday service and went to Pinewood Studio area in Georgia. You, you know, where they filmed the Marvel movies and stuff. Shout out to uh, Chadwick, man. And by a lake near the studios, they decided to do the Sunday service thing and walk on water. Similar to the historical event listed in the scriptures involving Christ walking on water. And don't get all, yo, that's a fairy tale. You believe that? Yo, you must believe there are creatures with electricity in them and other creatures covered in spikes. You probably think fish light up under the sea and the world is like slightly circular. So dumb. Yo, there's more evidence that backs up the New Testament than there is that Washington existed, man. How is this complicated? Whatever. Kanye West and Joel Austin, right? They find themselves cringily doing a walk on water. Yo, take a look.
had the sermon, bro. <laughs> you could have dropped the hot track and that would have been cool. I get it, right? Sometimes your minister may have used props to convey his point. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but to me, it's like there's something cringy about that. Now, folks did come through in the comments. And as you could have guessed, they felt something off in their spirit as well. One commenter said... Quote, so nobody bothered by the video of Kanye West and Joel Austin given the illusion that they're walking on water while talking about Jesus? I guess the grass was too basic, close quote. Yeah, we're bothered, bruh. That, uh, that, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. Yes, it was weird when it was originally done too, right? But the point was that he was proving power and majesty over the elements. This here is a charade. Okay, l l let me not go all the way in. Another commenter said, yo, I'm starting to think this is more of a cult thing than a church thing. You know what I'm saying? Because why the F they wear in prison pajamas? And then someone responded to that person and said, that's exactly what it is, a cult. He's preying on the weak and using his influence and start power to mesmerize them just like that man Jim Jordan did. Who is Jim Jordan? You mean Jim Jones or Michael Jordan? Come on, bro. Don't come out here in public and talk crazy. I was with you for a second. Anyway, they continued on and said, watch, they're going to try to move them all to a commune in Wyoming in the middle of nowhere, away from civilization. Bruh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that might be facts. Yo, if these cats keep acting all mid-Somar out here, then you know it's on. Another commenter said, so Joel Austin and Kanye West decide they're going to walk on water. L-M-A-O, these people don't take God's word seriously and it's embarrassing. I mean... I'm close quote. It, it certainly feels that way. Yo, let us know what you think. Yo, wasn't that cringy? Do you have to do all that? Yay? Making folks look crazy, man. Yo, we take one step forward, yay steps back. Yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe, please. Support Celeb Source out here in this piece. So these folks can hear us tell them. Yo, chill out and stop doing the foolishness. Getting in the guns, getting in the pools with the guns and walking on water like you. Yo, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.